Hey, what's going on gang? Brian here, Brian's Lawn Maintenance. Hey guys, it is Friday morning, 9.30. As you guys can tell, we have a special guest. Uh, my beautiful wife Hi. is uh, with me today and we are headed to the dealer to go trailer shopping. We're, uh, we're gonna be headed to uh, Kelly and Son's trailer down in Carlton, Michigan. Uh, but we're gonna be going, looking at some uh, trailer upgrades, see what we wanna do, see what we wanna look at. So I am excited about making some upgrades and taking the business to the next level. Uh, but anyway, we'll do some fun video for you guys along the way. Next time we'll catch up with you guys, we'll probably see you there at the dealer, right? So, fair enough. All right, cool. So this is the eight and a half by 16 landscape pro trailer. Now, if I do pull the trigger on one, it'll be red, believe it or not, because I like the color red. Actually, I like the silver here even, but um, I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking about the red. I was originally gonna go with a dark gray color, but uh, get some uh, signage on the side, some white vinyl, you know, just uh, lettering which is uh, sometimes pretty expensive for all you guys that have had your trailers wrapped and signed, you know how that goes. So one of the reasons I'm coming back to SureTrack is a couple reasons. One, they make a fantastic trailer. They really do. This one right here, like I said, this is kind of their flagship. Uh, Brickman and a lot of the big guys, Brightview, I think they are now, uh, use this trailer. This is definitely a big upgrade, even for me. Plus, these guys, Kelly and Sons, they are the ones that support the uh, local MGIA lawn and landscape show. They've been coming there my gosh, probably for longer than I've been doing lawn care, that's for sure. Um, but it's just a huge dealer, man. Uh, it's about 45 minutes away in Carleton, Michigan. I feel like I'm doing the uh, Brian top-notch spin with the camera. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, the one that we're looking at, like I said, the Landscape Pro Series. We got the uh, seven and a half by, no, eight and a half by 16. We got the aluminum rims, the side RV door, uh, the bigger axles, 3,500 pounds, I think. Let's see if I can get the, uh, the back side for you guys. We're gonna get the upgraded vents, so we got some more ventilation. We got the Euro style lighting, uh, all the RV style locks, pretty straightforward. We got the heavy duty hinges. This one has six. I know a lot of trailers have like two, four, you know, but uh, some of the features on here we don't need. We're not gonna be getting like the, uh, the jacks for balancing. I'm not going to be ever really staging this trailer. That's more for uh, for their show. Let me take you guys inside. All right, so here is the back side of the trailer. Uh, the trailer comes standard with the one blower rack. I'll probably be upgrading for uh, a second one. You got the spare tire, which is nice. The uh, upgraded uh, vents. This is the rear ramp door. Now this year they're going back to the ramp that is uh, connected. It's already part of the ramp door versus having it, it used to flip out as an option. So this door used to be a foot longer and then when you bring the ramp down, the metal ramp would fold back in. This is also the uh, flap that covers the space between the ramp and the trailer. So you don't have uh, all that debris getting stuck in that three, four inch gap. But as you guys can imagine, very excited. This is uh, their trimmer rack setup. Uh, this looks pretty good for uh, what I'm thinking I'm gonna need. Uh, it doesn't come attached to the wall initially, uh, so I'll be able to space it out, make sure it's correct. Should be pretty straightforward. Hopefully, uh, you know, once I'm making my drill marks. I know a lot of guys have the three and four green touch trimmer racks, but I don't really think that's something I'm gonna need. Uh, I like the three that they have, that should be fine. Uh, this right here, Actually turn it at an angle like this, which uh, helps from all the vibration and keeps the uh, trimmers and edgers uh, staying put. Up here, you guys might be able to see, they got the, uh, the cabinets. This is an option, it's an expensive option, but it's a nice option. But you guys can see they have the nice 
uh, extra storage for the top shelf. I've seen a lot of guys even partition it where somebody might have locker A, somebody's got locker B, you know, they can put all their shirts and their sweaters and their drinks, their lunch, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have to need to do that, but I could definitely see myself with uh, some storage containers like for sprinkler heads, uh, maybe some tools, maybe some lawnmower blades, all that kind of stuff. Uh, why not? So it's a fun little upgrade. Oh, these come with the dome lights. There's two. Pretty nice once it's set up to the vehicle. This right here, we're not going to be upgrading. It's a little uh, extra, but this is for all your papers. Nice little tube. First aid kit. Fire extinguisher. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be getting that. I'll probably buy my own. Probably be a lot cheaper getting one at uh, Home Depot and Lowe's. Now this is absolutely awesome. You get the workbench. It used to be a large metal uh, workbench, but it's really uh, heavy on the front nose of the trailer. So they went to more like a two by four, you know, framed out setup. And then this nice uh, aluminum trimmed workbench. But yeah, so this would be awesome to work on things, tinker, always fixing stuff. You guys know how it goes, but it's all self-contained. Alright guys, we just left Kelly and Sons trailers, had a great dealer visit. We were there for probably a good hour and a half, two hours. It took us a while actually, but uh, shopping around, looking at all the different trailers. You guys just saw the video on all of that. So we are making a pit stop. Uh, right now we have to visit, where are we going there? Going to White Castle. We're going to White Castle. We, uh, we had a blast at Kelly and Sons. Do we tell them if we bought a trailer? Do we no. tell them if we not? No. Do you guys think I bought a trailer? I'm curious if you guys think we bought a trailer. Yeah. 